Hey guys, so today I'm going to plug in my G drive, my external hard drive here, and listen to what sound it makes. That's not good. So, let's replace it. I have this cheap little 90 gig SSD. Throw it in there and see how it works. Let's start by popping this cover off. So, this, there's two metal plates. You have this plate here, and this plate here. And there's little um, clips all the way around it on both sides that you have to worry about. So let's try to pry it apart and not break it. You can see these little tabs. Mine popped up pretty easy. Depends on where these positioned are, if they're bent in or out. And in order to pull it out, you have to take out the other side too. Now if you remember, the logo side is on the top of the hard drive. And the port is opposite of the G drive logo when you go to reassemble it. So now, this should pop off. And if you look, there's little recesses here on both sides for, for all the four corners of the hard drive that had these little rubber bumpers on them. So, let's separate this. And then you got this. Let's take these off. I don't know if we need this little, little plastic thing. It's probably just because this case was metal. So we shouldn't need that because this is all plastic. This only goes on one way, just like that. Let's put the little rubber feet on. Okay, so as you can see, bottom of the hard drive, this is what you should be seeing here. Move it in the frame. Alright. Now this should be the bottom. And this little silver tab should go to the back. It's a little padding used to keep the hard drive from shifting. Just do that. Let's snap this into place. Now, remember, your G drive logo goes opposite of where your plug is. And I'm going to bend my tabs a little bit because it's way too loose. Make sure your tabs are straight, not bent in. And removing it will probably bend them in a little bit. Now let's see. It feels better. There we go, got some clicks. 
work. All right, let's plug it in and see if it still works. Okay, let's see if it works. Yep, there it is, G drive. I, I already renamed it, so that's why it's there. I just had to initialize it, but it is good to go. All right, thanks for watching.